Every day, you're bombarded by a tsunami of news about AI breakthroughs that promise miracles, but you hear very little about overcoming the unsexy challenges encountered in building real applications, such as using AI to process data from different data sources. Well, by the end of this video, you will understand what this challenge is, how to overcome it, and you'll see an example in action in a customer service application. Let's get into it. Welcome to episode five in Prolego's AI strategy series. We're going to continue our conversation on Unified Natural Language Query, or Unified NLQ as I'll refer to it. Unified NLQ allows you to turn any report, dashboard, or application screen, basically anywhere you interact with data, into a rich conversation. Because every business user and customer will want Unified NLQ, it will become the killer app of AI and it will drive AI adoption at your company. In episode three, I showed how a user could chat with data from a single table and how GPT-4 could generate SQL code and provide valuable data insights. And in episode four, we extended the capability to multiple tables using agents. But both of these examples had a constraint that will prevent wider adoption at your company. They both use a single database. Well, today we're gonna demonstrate how you can begin deploying unified NLQ across multiple databases. So why is this challenging? Large language models have a limit on how much data they can handle at once. This data is called the context window. When you attempt to process data from multiple data sources in your company, such as from two different databases, you run the risk of asking the model to manage a data set bigger than its context window. There are several ways to overcome this constraint and we'll get to them in future episodes. But the easiest approach is to choose an initial business problem where the user's questions can be answered by processing data that fits into the context window. Fortunately, these scenarios are usually very easy to find. For example, you can build a powerful capability for marketing, sales, or customer service by constraining the scope to questions about a single customer. Let's take a look at an example. This is an open source demonstration application created by Prolegos engineers. Once again, we're going to use the example of a bank's CRM system. This time, we have two databases. The first contains information about customers, accounts, and products. The second database is significantly bigger and contains transactions. Segmenting transactions into a different database is a common systems architectural pattern. Let's see the demo in action. As always, in Unified NLQ, we empower the user to get into a natural conversation with the data. In this case, a representative is trying to help a customer identify large transactions. Besides a rent or mortgage payment, does Constance Faust have checking withdrawals exceeding $400? If so, please tell me the dates and amounts. You can see why this is a more complex question. It requires the large language model agent to develop a plan and navigate through queries across multiple databases and tables. Let's see what it does. This takes about 30 seconds to run, so I'm gonna jump ahead. And it worked. The agent was able to find three transactions for Constance that fit our criteria. Let's look at the chatbot message log to see what happened. The agent begins by performing the same reasonableness check that we discussed in detail in episode four. Now we've added a check to ensure that our user's question only covers a single customer, the guardrails we've created to prevent us from exceeding GPT-4's context window. The agent then needs to develop a plan for getting the answer. Based on what we've told it about the database, it came up with three steps. Step one, identify the global user ID for Constance Faust in the customer database. Step two, identify her checking account number using the global user ID. Step three, query the transaction database for withdrawals greater than $400 from her checking account number that are not rent or mortgage payments. The agent then executes each step, which requires it to generate and run each SQL query in sequence. Step one, Step two, step three. Finally, it returns the answer in a conversational format. By constraining the question to information that can be processed within GPT-4's context window, we were able to answer a question that required data from two different databases. So what happens if we ask a question that requires more data than the context window can handle? Well, let's try it and see what happens. We asked, how many accounts had single deposits exceeding $500 in the month of June, 2023? What were the names of customers holding these accounts? 
and our guardrails worked. The agent told us to focus on a specific customer and suggested a feasible solution. In summary, most analytics challenges require access to multiple data sources, and thus you will need a way to overcome the large language models window context limitations. The easiest approach is to start with a specific problem and create user guide rails. This example shows how you can do this for functions like customer support, sales, and marketing, basically anything where you're dealing with a single customer. So now you're wondering, how did we implement this big change? Well, we spent weeks pouring through the research and developed a theoretical framework based on neural network memory. And of course I'm kidding. Here is the code. It is two sentences that took us about five minutes. It is all open source, so feel free to download this application, modify and test it out for yourself. This is what your colleagues and competitors don't fully grasp about the impact of these technologies. Large language models like GPT-4 allow a software engineer to create incredibly powerful applications for a fraction of the cost and time over traditional software engineering techniques. You are weeks away from beginning to replace your static dashboards, reports, and application screens with the kind of conversational interactions your customers want. The fact that you are still listening already tells me that you are among the very small group of us who are committed to leading your organization into the future. But I know what you're thinking. Your data, your company, your customers, your operations, your workflow, they're all unique and a generic solution won't work. And you know what? You're right. But you have many viable options and we are more than happy to talk through them with you. Russ, how can someone schedule a call with Prolego to discuss their project ideas with us? Just shoot me an email at russ at prolego.com. Thanks a bunch. Have a fantastic day.